Welcome everybody to the YouTube channel. I'm Matthew Long, the executive editor of the CHT on sports.com and the host of the Cold Hard Truth on Sports radio show. You can hear every Tuesday from 8.30 to 11.30 on Blog Talk Radio or you can go over to the website the CHT on sports.com and click on the listen link and you can listen to the full length show um, all, all the shows right over there real quick and easy. Uh, today's topic I'm going to be talking about uh, the NFL coming down with their decisions for the next three Super Bowls for 2019, 2020, and 2021. Now, uh, their decision comes out Tuesday, so this is what I think they're going to pick. Now, based on where we left off, 2018 went to Minnesota, and they were slightly edged out. Uh, they slightly edged out New Orleans. Now, New Orleans is in the running of one of the final teams, along with Tampa Bay, Miami, um, and uh, Los Angeles, of course. Uh, Houston will be the coming Super Bowl in 2017, uh, Minnesota in 2018, and 2019 is actually the only year out of the next three years that New Orleans has applied for. 2020, they didn't apply because they'll be hosting the national title game, and 2021, Mardi Gras. The party of the year for most people uh, there it interferes with the, the scheduling of the Super Bowl so they've only applied for one year 2019 seems to be the one that's the most wide open out of all of them um, or 2020 seems to be the most wide open Atlanta Tampa Bay Miami and Los Angeles are in the runnings for this although uh, the new stadium for the Rams isn't supposed to open until 2020 2020 and the league rules just passed saying they want the stadium open for two full seasons before they host a Super Bowl in it. So the earliest on that grounds, if they didn't make an exception, because the NFL doesn't do anything like that, uh, would be 2021. So we'll start from the furthest and work our way back. The 2021 Super Bowl will be hosted in Los Angeles. The Rams, with their new stadium after two full seasons, will be in it. 2021 Super Bowl is after the season. This is how they'll get in on that technicality there. 2020 will be up for grabs between Atlanta, Tampa, and Miami. That's really who this one's coming down to. Tampa has made some major renovations to their scoreboards, and they already had a pretty modern stadium as it was. The new Miami Stadium, which is really a revamped Sun Life Stadium, um, the ownership for Miami put in $400 million into this stadium to re-up to re it. The upgrades on the stadiums are definitely must for them to host games. That's why we're going to see in 2017, this next year's uh, national title game, will be in Tampa. These upgrades have to be ready for this season, for the NFL, and for college football. So, Tampa... You know, you missed out on a little bit of government aid um, because they missed the deadline. However, there is monies that from public coffers and from the Glazers that are being put into the renovations for new scoreboards and other upgrades to the stadium. From what I understand is the new Miami Stadium is getting upgrades pretty much around the board to upgrade from infrastructure to suites to... Um, scoreboards and, and such. All these upgrades are a definite benefit not only to the fans of the cities that go and see them, but to the visitors who are going to come from other cities and potentially for the Super Bowl. However, as we've seen in the recent history, the team who builds a new stadium is the team that shall get a Super Bowl. We've seen this for the 2018 where New Orleans, who got edged out by Minnesota, who has just built a new outdoor stadium. New stadiums, money invested, will bring in Super Bowls. Uh, at least that's what you can tell from reading between the lines. So Atlanta builds a brand new stadium. It's probably one of the most progressive cities in the country. Um, it could be in the next 10 years like a Chicago uh, a city like that, it is just continuing to grow and opportunities are continuing to grow there. It's far enough south where it doesn't get 
very harsh winters, uh, but it does get seasoned. So a lot of people will start moving and start uh, going to uh, Atlanta. So I could see that really working out for them. So I'm going to say the 2020 Super Bowl will be played in Atlanta. Sorry, Tampa and Miami. Should have built a new stadium. The 2021 Super Bowl, of course, like I said, uh, is in Los Angeles. Uh, 2019, I'm sorry. 2019, I'm going to say this goes to the New Orleans Saints. The league seeing that they are making upgrades, and the owners really like to host Super Bowls in New Orleans for very obvious reasons. Uh, which is why if the Raiders go to Los Angeles, which I reported that they probably will do months ago, actually a year ago, if we want to get technical, um, that will be a city that hosts Super Bowls, with, without a doubt. Probably, uh, if, they see a, if they see a stadium by 2022, I would look forward to them hosting in 2024. So this next block of of voting for the Super Bowls, we're gonna see uh, as long as as long as the um, the Davis family can close in some loopholes that they're having issues with taxpayer uh, taxpayers wanting to pay a sum of 750 million dollars, which the governor and uh, the mayor both said that it's not gonna happen. Uh, we could see that there, but in 2019, the only one that they applied for, I think New Orleans is going to get it. They're going to edge out um, Miami and Tampa, despite the upgrades. Now, New Orleans has made some significant upgrades, and I understand that they're in, uh, in the workings of potentially building a new stadium for the Saints. So, I see the 2019 Super Bowl being in New Orleans. I'm so confident in this. You might as well just go ahead and book those tickets now. Not on me. And if they change your plans, yeah, not on me. But thank you. This is the Cold Hard Truth on Sports. Go ahead and check out the website, thechtonsports.com. Subscribe wherever the, I don't know if it's here, there, maybe it's wherever it is, somewhere around here, there's a subscribe button. Go ahead, push subscribe. Uh, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, social media, anywhere. These are the handles, thechtonsports, and you can get me at Matt Long Sports. I'm out.